Welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm going to be teaching you CBT with Laravel. Um, how do we create a CBT? Hub uh, CBT Hub with Laravel. We're going to be creating model, controller, migration, table relationship. We're going to be creating question and options. I'm going to take um, red TV. Uh, 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 well, an interface where the CBT quiz can be taken and the exam score. Now, the first part of the lesson, um, I'm going to show you how, what I've done and the things that I've created. Now, from the look of the things, I have model called, I have the following models, we have the answers, Option, question, subject, user. I'm going to show you everything that is written there. I have all this list of migrations, the user, which comes with Laravel, the password, um, subject table, questions, options, and create answer. Now, I need to emphasize this. Uh, for you to dive into this, you should have learned one or two things about Laravel. So, I'm creating this for people that are familiar with Laravel. Also have the controller, I have an answer controller, option controller, question controller, and subject controller. So these are the available controllers that I've created. And now in my migrations, I want to take it one after the other. I have subject migration. In the subject migration, I have idea of the subject. We have the course code, the title of the course. <clears throat> and I have a question table. A question table uh, has to do with the question, the text, the value, the owner sign, the relationship. This relates subject underscore idea relates this table with uh, the subject table. So you can see I'm referencing the foreign subject underscore ID, referencing ID in our subject table. So that's this ID connects the two tables together. It connects this table with the subject table so that this table is like a subset, it's like a child's table to subject table. Also, we have the option table for every question, there are options. So option table has a value. Uh, you want to know if it is correct or not, if it's the correct option. And there's a relationship between the question ID, question table and the options table. So this is the option table, which carries the question ID. So, and we can see the relationship, how it's been related. Then we have the answer once, a user submit his text, the text taken. This table receives the answer. And from this table, you can see the option ID, the user ID of the person that submitted the question. So I will know that an option belongs to a question which belongs to a subject. So from this table, we can actually assess which subject holds this uh, option. So we relate this table with two other tables. The first one is the option. So we can see the option ID that is also on this table. Another one is the user ID who submits this answer. So this is also on the table. This uh, small relationship with help us to effectively manage our hype hub. Now, let's quickly look at our uh, controller. So we have a list of controller that has been made, but before then, let's check our model. So we have the model answer option question. What we have done in the database, we can quickly do it here. Now, our subject has many questions. So these relationships that connect the question with that connect our question and relate it with um, 
per subject with the question that is the subject has many questions. So it's a one to many relationship. It has many relationships. It has many, the subject has many questions. And many questions belongs to a subject. So inverse of this relationship is going to be kept inside our question. So we check the question. You know that the question belongs to at least many question belongs to um, belongs to a subject. So we can also have in a relationship we have a subject. So from here, I can fetch all my information for my option. Option as belongs to question. So then answer also has one, this option has one, has one correct answer. So an option has one answer. That is, there can only be an instance of an answer in the table. So when we are creating a table, we're going to show it that when a user clicks submit, the only selected question option that the user click will be submitted into the database. And from there, we can check if that option is correct or not. That is why we have just one option submitted into the database. Now let's quickly see how our app runs. We have a controller. We have a controller called question controller. So in our questions controller, we have uh, Two method. One is create, one is store. This one returns the view question create. So in our view, we have created question, and inside the question folder, we have create. So we just have the form. So this is the form store question, which uh, shows in our dashboard. If you want to create. Create question. So we have create question. We put our question here. Uh, what is PHP? So if I click submit, it goes. So what is PHP? Is there as our question? So we can see that uh, from here, we can store our question. So when we're storing the question, how do we store the question? Let's check when we fill a form, store this store question, the question goes there, then it goes searching to the router, the question center. Inside the question, I start, this is captured, and we can capture the value of the input text then the value, then we save it in our database. So once it is saved, it's available for users to see. So we also have a model, the question model. So in the question model, we have our guide. So these are available as well as in our previous tutorial and email desktop. So I hope to uh, see you in the next tutorial. Uh, if you like this tutorial, can you uh, give it a thumb up. If you have any question, kindly reach me. This uh, code will be made available in the repository. You can follow me as we go about the question. I mean, developing this with app. The next uh, tutorial is going to be uh, the creation of options and uh, relating options to question. We can have multiple options, and uh, multiple options will be related to. Uh, a question. So, we want to see how we're going to do that. Kindly give it a thumb up so that I can get notification when this tutorial is out. Thank you.
that shit, yeah. Just 